Hey, 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 everybody, it's me, your gamer, your boy, your guy here, Waddles. I hope you're doing well. Today, we're going on a fun imagination adventure. <laughs> Today, I've thought up five possible alternate Minecraft 1.16 update themes if the unfortunate circumstance occurs that 1.16 doesn't end up being a cave update, which, of course, we are all hoping for. Remember that this is all just for fun. I've got some sweet minigame footage in the background. If you like this style of video, drop a like, hit that sub button, become a waddler today, and grab your gamer gear. It's down below in the description. With that, let's move on to my first imagination station. Ah, so Minecraft update theme number one. But first, sometimes there's absolutely no ground for any of these. These are like made up ideas that I thought would be cool. Some of these ideas are meant to basically improve things that are already in the game. Some of them are, uh, again, just <laughs> completely random. So anyways, update number one, concept one, I've got to do it to you. It is a sky update. The overworld, or just I guess the world, has received many changes throughout Minecraft's life cycle. The things that haven't are the caves, which we can't talk about today, and the sky. I mean, look up in the air, it, it's all just blue and there's the floating clouds and you know, it's cool, it's a sky, it works, but this is a video game. <laughs> we don't need a, a blue sky, we need like a green sky, a pink sky, actually no colors, just biomes in the sky, platforms, clouds, things to actually visit, which would be really unique, have awesome loot and maybe new creatures. So this whole sky update would be built around the whole biomes being able to be detected along the y-axis thing. I talked about it in this video card on screen right now and would basically be like updating the caves, but updating the sky. I imagine that maybe after beating the ender dragon, the sky opens up a little more in a way. The build height limit for this update to work would obviously need to be increased because there would be chunks of land way high up in the sky beyond what the player could realistically see. So anyways, you go to the end, you kill that rude rude dragon, and then you go find an elytra. After finding an elytra, you stand on the ground, use your rockets, and go really, really high up into the air. Way high up into the air, players could actually start to find land masses that are basically floating clouds. On these floating clouds, there could be different creatures, different blocks, and of course, maybe sky cities. Inside of these sky cities would be brand new villager types with brand new trades that are probably just still not worth it. There would be at least a couple new block types in this update, and I imagine those blocks could be like cloud blocks and then building blocks for the cities, kind of like what we have in the end for the end cities. These cloud blocks would also probably have some pretty unique properties because I mean, they are literally cloud blocks. Maybe they cancel all fall damage or something. And finally, just cause why not, maybe they could add birds into the game too because birds go in the sky, but the birds wouldn't stay in the sky. You could see them from the ground. So a sky update might be cool and all, but what about a nether update? The nether has been in the game for a long time and is really, really, really boring. I mean, you go there for a fortress, maybe you make a blaze farm, you find quartz whenever you need to, glowstone, but other than that, there's no reason to go to the, the nether whatsoever. It's just very, very pointless and it needs an update. Maybe some sort of nether update could see more biomes added into that dimension. I mean, there's lots of potential here. The nether could have some kind of low lava ocean burning zone, some kind of plains biome, as I've mentioned before, and then maybe even more cities and just more unique generation features. I mean, one biome type that I would love to see in the nether, but I just could really not imagine it would be some sort of forest biome. This would mean we would need some kind of new petrified wood type that does not burn. Maybe this is like dark oak wood, but like even darker and all charred looking. I feel like Minecraft could always use more wood types. Wood is one of the most common or if not the most common building material. So adding in another option, maybe a darker one would be really cool. And last but not least, of course, the nether would need more mobs. No hate pigmen, no hate gas, no hate magma cream things. I, they're cool and all, but they're also not that cool. They're not that exciting anymore. The nether is a massive dimension. Why are there only like five creatures that spawn in the nether naturally? That's just weird to me. There's just so much more potential here. Maybe some kind of weird cow that's distorted in this biome, some kind of 
interesting chicken um just any anything literally anything may i i don't know <laughs> it could literally be just like lava fish just something there needs to be more in the nether i feel like ever since the update aquatic the nether just doesn't match anymore it's a way underdeveloped underappreciated dimension that needs a lot or at least a little love so update number two that would be amazing to have another update Moving on to update number three. Update number three. Oh boy, what could it be? I've been waiting the whole video for that rhyme. <laughs> so update number three is something that I'm calling the life update. The life update would be kind of like the B update that we are currently facing. The life update would be all about life in Minecraft. But there's a catch. This life wouldn't be just like llamas and polar bears and just kind of like random animals. This life would need to tie into the game in some way. So bees have been added in 1.15 or are going to be added in 1.15 and they produce honey. If the bees were to be in the life update, maybe that honey could be mixed with food that is already in the game to maybe make it a little more fulfilling, like you get more hunger from it. Maybe birds get added in this update and you can actually give a bird a map and let it fly around, kind of fill in a map, and then it will return to you eventually. Does it make sense? Absolutely not, but would it be cool? Uh, yes, that would be really, really cool. Another potential life idea that I came up with has to do with a groundhog. Maybe groundhogs are added into the game. The player can go out and find those groundhogs and feed them something, maybe like an apple, and then that groundhog will go over to the ground somewhere and start digging. Now, what is that thing digging for? Well, of course, a completely randomized hidden treasure chest that is maybe just a few blocks down into the ground. These chests would be completely random, so there's no way of finding them other than either A, accidentally finding them, or B, using a groundhog to locate them. Again, does it make sense? No. Would it be cool? Yes, bees are an amazing addition because they actually make the world come alive a little bit more. So I would really, really just be so happy to see more things like that added into the game, but only if they actually tied into the game. Again, the focus of this whole update would literally just be adding more life that interacts with the player and the world around it into the game. As Minecraft moves forward and continues to get more and more updates, there is going to be more and more content. Without taking a break to add more life into the game, Minecraft could begin to feel even more eerily empty, uh, uh, kind of like it does right now in a single player world. It's just weird, uh, you're, you're alone, and if you start thinking about it, your mind goes into some weird area, and that's why I don't think about it. Um, bye. <laughs> I don't know what that was all about, but update number three, some kind of life update. For a life update, there is just tons and tons of pretty much endless potential. I mean, the devs could literally look at the real world, say, hey, that's a cool animal. Let's put that in the game and make it do something cool. All right, next on our update list today, we have none other than the tasty, tasty, tasty idea. Maybe in some alternate universe, Minecraft 1.16 could actually turn out to be some sort of food update. I mean, if you take a look at the food in the game, it works well, but it also sort of lacks a lot of depth. Many of the more recent Minecraft updates have added more depth to the game in some way or another. The food, however, that has remained unchanged. Now this food update would definitely not need to complicate anything. The system works perfectly. I imagine this food update would simply add to what we have currently, build upon it. I think the best way to explain this idea is by example. Let's say we are wanting to eat some steak in Minecraft. We would go ahead and smelt one single beef up in a furnace like normal and then we'd be good to go. We have our steak, we could eat it. But there would actually be more that we could do to that steak if we wanted to improve it. Maybe we add some sort of spice to the steak and that would make us move faster for a little while. Maybe we add like sugar to the steak and, and you know, now that I think about it, that sounds like it would taste horrendous, but maybe the sugar grants some kind of other buff. Basically, the whole concept behind this one is being able to add more ingredients to the food that we already have and those ingredients would grant certain types of benefits there would probably need to be some sort of new cooking workstation block added into the game for this but overall nothing would change at all food could still be eaten like normal only with this update food could also be improved if the player were willing to put a little bit more time into those delicious tasty eats 
And last but not least on today's list is none other than a tool slash gear update. The best name in the game, I know. <laughs> so this tool and gear update would tie into the smithing and fletching table. Those two things, yep, yep, remember them? They're useless still. They need a use. Now, admittedly, this tool and gear update would be a whole lot better if there was some kind of cave update with new ores added, but eh, pretending we don't even have that, the tools that are in the game currently could simply be improved. Perhaps players could add buffs to their tools with the smithing table, and maybe players could add buffs and maybe actually craft tipped arrows with the fletching table. Now going back to the whole buff thing with the smithing table, I'm not talking about enchantments. I'm saying maybe you take a sword to a smithing table and you make it attack faster because you shortened the sword, or you make it attack slower but hit harder because you made it longer. Same thing could happen with the pickaxe, um, minus the cursed pickaxe memes, no, none of that. I think both of these tables have amazing potential if used correctly. This tool and gear update concept could definitely be expanded upon if there were to be a cave update or at least an ore update as well that brings simply more options for tools into the game. Maybe this tool and gear update could also include armor buffs, customizations, and maybe even new variants. As it stands right now, the tool system is just plain old old. There's nothing wrong with it, that's just been unchanged for so so long. Adding a little bit more personalization, customization, and maybe just simply more options to the tool system than gear system would do a lot of good to the game. And so those are four updates that I think could be cool to see if we unfortunately don't get a cave update. Now, again, of course, I'm really, really hoping for a cave update at this point. I think that would be amazing, and there could be just so, so much added into Minecraft just by updating the caves. So which update theme do you like the most? Do you like the sky one? Do you like the life one? Share your thoughts down below. What update would you add into Minecraft if you could add any update in the world? Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, hit that subscribe button, turn those bells on, make them, make them ring every time I upload, and thank you for watching. Today, I'd like to send a special thank you, a special shout out to my wonderful patron, Spaghetti Dude. Thank you for the support. And last but not least, I'd like to leave you gamers off with this meme that I made. <laughs> I thought it was really funny. Um, uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>